Matthew chapter number 6 verses 31 and 32 Therefore take no thought saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed for after all these things do the Gentiles seek for your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Christ is in these verses echoing some of the most simplest things, some of the most common things in human existence. And, and we can see over here in our treasury of scriptures, Leviticus 25 verses 20 through 22. It's talking about the Smita year. It's talking about when God told them to give the land a one year rest. You can harvest it for six years, but on the seventh year, give the land a rest. And then he goes on and you, you some, what if you say, what shall we eat? In the seventh year. And he goes on to say. If you are obedient. I will bless you with triple amount. In the sixth year. So you will have enough to go through the seventh year. And more after that. So. Christ is coming back and saying the exact same thing. We see verse number 25. Therefore I say unto you. Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink nor yet for the body what ye shall put on and then you have a therefore in verse number 25 and then you have a wherefore in verse number 30 and then verse number 31 you go back to a therefore God is saying here in verse number 25 since you can only serve God or money then take no thought of what you're going to do in other words choose God don't worry about it and then in verse number 30 it says wherefore God so clothed the grass of the field and Wherefore, since you can't outdress God, God can clothe a lily much better than any one of us, no matter our, how our wealth is. Wherefore, then, choose God. Then he goes on with, therefore, bringing us back into a full circle. Take no thought. Because it's easy to be consumed in situations and we have to be very careful because it's not only easy to be consumed but it's easy to let others pull you in as well another way to explain this is stress stress is a silent killer stress raises the blood pressure stress can take you out of here you can be so consumed with stress and things until you panic you can't see straight you can't think straight you miss the very obvious of what's going on And Christ is telling us, put God first and put his kingdom first. And he will bless and he can help. But don't get stressed out. Don't let others stress you out. Because you could have a mind to serve God. You could have a mind to trust God. But because others around you don't have that belief they can pull on you and push you and try to drive you out of the place that God has 
for his children. Some people enjoy making you scratch out. They despise. They don't like you walking around without any cares or walking around calm. They enjoy seeing you panic. And they will do things intentionally just to push your button. But we have to be careful. Ever so careful. That God will take care of us. And that we can be what God wants us to be. And then, once again, this doesn't mean we ignore details. This doesn't mean we are slowful or slothful in business. But don't let it scratch us out. God, we bless you and we praise you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor and thank you for taking care of your children. Thank you for having your way. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen.